trying to find my position in nature, which is not an easy task, because it doesn't like me. <coughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. No! <coughs> he just hit me back right into the face. Freaking twig. I am your host, Maria Anna van Driel, and you are listening to The Next Truth, where science and myth meet. So many people, uh, scientists and citizen scientists, are trying to figure out what it is that lays in these well, still foggy areas, and um, they are getting closer and closer to providing answers. But like with everything new, being a frontier, it 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 needs time. Like like everything needs time to grow and to um, crawl out of its cradle <clears throat> and and um, experience an evolution. This also with all these fantastic and amazing theorems and theories and, and research and, and projects. Now, you can look at the magazine and you can listen to the podcasts um, as, well, a couple of people publishing articles. Um, having no depths, but that is absolutely uh, the contrary. When you read these articles, when you dive into their research, um, which are articles and papers published um, on, on, on a variety of, of scientific uh, sites and, and journals containing these fantastic and, and, and most amazing theorems and, and theories and, and ideas um, which brings, um, well, in my opinion, um, a tremendous lot of value to accepted science. Now, this might sound a bit odd, but Accepted science can learn from this, can grow from these ideas, these theorems, these theories, these research projects. Um, it is very easy to um, take a textbook from a shelf and read the lines and, well, like a grey parrot, repeating the words you just have read. It is more difficult to come up with something new, to explore what has not been explored yet, and write an article about that, write uh, a paper about that, um, and, and, or perhaps your thesis, um, and even publish it. Now, even though you might not agree with somebody's idea or theorem, uh, or perhaps even the field people are researching in, I find it, well, to be straightforward, absurd when you are kicking somebody's behind because they are coming up with something new, something many have not been thinking about, or trying to combine accepted science and noetic science to find a plausible answer for what many of us still do not fully understand. These people, these scientists, these citizen scientists, are in my opinion, true frontiers. So, I would say, let's square the circle and have some respect for those people who have the courage to explore these realms come with something new for you 
to explore everything what is yet not fully understood. You, you cannot give up. 